Hello. In this video, we're going to go over three underrated AI tools for marketing that you should know in 2025. So let's dive in. First one is called Prompt Genie. There's a freemium plan. You can try for free and then you can see if you use it a lot and you want to go onto the pay plan for unlimited access. So Prompt Genie in a nutshell is a tool to help you write better prompts. Instead of paying for different tools like this one's for social media marketing content generation, this one for blog post generation, this one's for case study generation, this one for this, this one for that. This tool is going to help you do all that within just chat GPT or cloud. Why? Because it's going to help you write better prompts. It's super simple. Whatever you want to do, if you're not good with prompting, or even if you are, I'd say try this prompting tool and compare the results and see if it makes sense. All I will do here is just say, I need a prompt for social media content strategy for my product. I'm going to hit generate prompt. So I like using the uh, amplifier model because when I use that model, the prompts I get are spectacular. It's well known that AI is only as good as our prompts because AI is basically a best guessing machine. So the more context we add, the more details we add, more examples we add to the prompt, the better AI will understand what we're trying to do. Like imagine working with a freelancer, you tell them like, hey, just generate me a social media content strategy. They're not going to know what they have to do. They're just going to give you some really generic results. That's probably what happens when you use ChatGPT and Claude without a really good prompt, you just get results which are super generic. But now the prompt we're getting is actually a lot more hyper personalized. Here we have like different sections within the prompt and it's not assuming what the product is and stuff. It's asking us to add the inputs for product description, for target audience. Next step is the prompts actually talking about discussing the goals. Is it brand awareness, driving website traffic, lead generation? And then for each one of those goals, it's trying to like figure out different formats for the content. It's looking at the different content themes and topics, content creation process, the distribution, They're even talking about tracking and optimization so as you can see, like the prompt you're getting with this tool is a lot more structured and detailed. So if you can use this within your existing chat GPT or cloud subscription, your results are going to get so much better. So you don't have to pay for other tools to do a lot of their writing work and stuff within chat GPT. Of course, it's kind of meta because this is literally AI for AI. You can also just use Claude and chat GPT directly to help you write the prompt better, but this is just fine tuned for prompting. So the results are a lot more better. Plus it's just more convenient. Again, try for yourself. See if you want to use it. We're going to move on to the next tool. So next tool is called Julius AI. So Julius AI is like chat GPT, but for data analysis, anyone in marketing, anyone running a business, they know they have a whole bunch of data, but they probably don't have either the time, the skill or a team member to take the data and then do analysis on it. I'm not just saying like, you know, plot stuff in Excel or like add data in Excel. I'm talking about like doing stuff like, is there a correlation? What's like you know, the forecasting? What are the trends and all that stuff? That kind of stuff requires skill. You need to know statistics, you need to know data analysis, and you need to know like either Python or R or like Excel VBA and stuff to be able to do all that work correctly and efficiently. But that's where we have Julius AI. It does that for us using AI. So let's say I have this sample data here or just Netflix show, and then I can just upload my data in Julius AI. Now I can pick one of the existing workflows for data analysis that's already pre-built in the tool, for example, correlation, and I'm just gonna ask it to run the workflow. Now it's gonna ask me for inputs, like which sort of columns I wanna use in my analysis. And now it's gonna do the analysis for me. And if there's any workflow that you wanna do, any analysis you wanna do that's not here yet, all you gotta do is like upload your data and then just type like, hey, can you do, for example, heat map analysis for this, this, this topic with my data set? Or can you do like, you know, trends forecasting for this data? This is what my data is about. And yeah, it's gonna write the Python code automatically and do the analysis for you. And you can like ask questions like, hey, maybe this doesn't make sense. Or like, you know, what do you think about this? It's basically your like data analysis, but in AI form. If you are a data analyst, data engineer, data scientist, this might not be as good because you're probably better at this AI tool. But for beginners like us who don't have the capability or the resources or the skill right now, but still need to leverage data better, I think it's a good start. All right, let's move on to the next one. So next one is called Flare AI. I think Flare AI is one of the best tools out there for AI product photography. Photos are so good that you can tell if it's AI or not. And it works for pretty much all the products. You have jewelry, you have fashion accessories, you have like clothing, you have sneakers. It works for all of them and it's super easy to use. So I wanted to see how well it works. So I took a screenshot of code from like Ralph Florence catalog and I took three pictures. So apparently to train AI, you need at least three pictures. So I was like, let's do the bare minimum. So I added these three pictures for the product and I went on to the training part. And here, all I gotta do is like, just hit start training. Like I'm not actually training training. I'm just clicking the button and everything's happening in the back end. And as soon as I hit training in a few minutes of time while I was getting myself some tea, it did its work. 
and now I can generate pictures. So to generate pictures, all I gotta do is now do the prompting. So again, you can't fast track your way to perfection right away. You still need to know what prompts to craft. And to know how what prompts to craft, you probably need to know the photography skills and you need to have a vision of what kind of photo shoot you want. So here as an example, the prompt here is what of a woman wearing blush pink, peacock with double breasted, da da da, 35 millimeter lens, professional photography, photo shoot kind of thing. And these are the images I'm getting with this tool. So the AI sort of like trained itself on the product so again that it can insert the product with my prompt and kind of like mix it really well so it looks so good. I was honestly blown away uh, with this tool and I haven't been able to stop talking about it ever since. Anytime I see someone in like e-commerce space, I'm like, hey, you should try that. It's gonna reduce your photo shoot budget by so much. I'm not gonna say that to people who are in the photo shoot space, but again, they can still leverage it to like, you know, offer maybe lower price photos for some brands who cannot afford it. That being said, this is an AI that's not supposed to replace humans. I think it's supposed to like aid humans and stuff, maybe help businesses with lower budgets, getting started and stuff. But yeah, I think it's super useful. I think it's gonna be big in 2025 because with all the things that's gonna happen, I'm sure the quality is gonna get even better because we're still early stages of all these AI developments. But yeah, these are the three tools I wanted to share with you today for marketing uh, in 2025. So it can be better, faster, and hopefully cheaper in everything you do. If you liked the video, if this was inspiring, you learned something new, you got some creative juices flowing, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more AI tools and workflows. I'll see you in the next videos.